Hello there, this is James at my PE exam. Thanks so much for joining me for this session on flight paths of shot, well actually of the shot from a shot put and of a shuttle. When I say shuttle, of course, I mean shuttlecock from badminton. So let's actually sort of start addressing this. Let's first of all, let me put in a very questionable image of a shot. So this is a shot from the shot put, okay? So first of all, let's see if we can illustrate onto this shot, this completely uniform spherical object, despite my somewhat questionable drawing of that circle. Let me actually draw on there the, the forces which are going to be acting. Well, let's look at it sensibly. We know that there's going to be a really significant weight force really significant weight force that's acting on that shot okay because it's a heavy thing right you guys have had a go at this you know it's a big heavy object and when you try and put it or throw it it goes kind of slowly and because it goes slowly i now want to think about the other force acting on the shot while it's in flight and sort of in, in order to do that we need to kind of recognize that this shot is in flight so there's like the flight path of the shot i've just put it in a very sort of rudimentary fashion there but we need to realize that because because this object is heavy and traveling quite slowly the other force acting which is the air resistance is going to be very minor look it barely even exists it's a very because this is a very slow moving object the air resistance is very insignificant okay so we of course know that whenever we're illustrating a resultant force remind yourself how we illustrate a resultant force well of course we use the parallelogram rule that word i always really struggle to say parallelogram rule <laughs> there you go i got the parallelogram fine but i've got the rule wrong